Hi guys, using abstract keyword, you can create an abstract class or an abstract method. Let's first understand the concept of abstract class. So you just need to add the keyword abstract in front of class declaration to create an abstract class. Hey, but what exactly is an abstract class? A class whose object cannot be created is an abstract class and you can only extend that is inherit the abstract class suppose you are creating a software for some school now in our project there are two main modules teachers and students but there are some things which are common in both teachers and students it, for example names, date of birth, age, address and etc. And we should never allow duplication of code. So we'll create an abstract class as person which will contain all the common code. And both the classes teacher and student will extend the class person. Now you might think that why we need an abstract class for this. We can achieve this by a normal class and inheritance. Let's remove the abstract keyword. Now suppose a teacher named John registers so we'll create an object as John. So teacher John equals new teacher. And if a student named Sam registers then we'll create an object of a student named Sam. So student Sam equals new student. But what if someone creates an object of person? So who is this person? Is he a teacher or a student? So this is a bug. So we can't allow someone to create an object of a person class. So we'll declare person as an abstract class. Then no one can create an object of abstract class. That is no one can create the object of a person. Now what are abstract methods? Unimplemented methods declared with an abstract keyword are abstract methods. Okay, let's understand this by an example. So to create an abstract method, you just need to write abstract keyword before method declaration. And unimplemented methods mean they have no body. Now let's see some properties of abstract methods. Number one, the subclass must overwrite unimplemented abstract methods. In this example, I have created an abstract method as set info. Now both this class have to override this method, otherwise it will get an it will generate an error. Or if the subclass is again an abstract class, then that class doesn't need to override abstract methods. Now the second property is an abstract class can also contain concrete method. Concrete methods means our regular method, for example, display. Here is a concrete method. In simple word, abstract class is like our regular class, but you can create an object of an abstract class. Let's summarize. So I have created four classes. School is actually a driver class that is will use school just for creating object of these classes. So first we cannot create an object of an abstract class. So I am declaring person as an abstract class and if I try to create an object of person, so person obj equals new person, you can see the error that is person is abstract. Let's keep everything simple. 
I am creating variables string name and integer age and I am creating a set data method So this set data method simply assign values to our variables. And now both classes will extend our abstract class person. Now I want both these classes should have a display method which will display the details so i'll create an abstract method as display in person so we so we are not overridden display method both these classes are showing an error that you must declare abstract or implement abstract method display in person so i'm creating a variable as int roll number and assign some value to it and now I am overriding display method since we have overridden display in student class so the error is gone and now I am now let's do the same thing for teacher class you should always write the override annotation when you are overriding some method it's a good coding practice now let's create an object of class student so student student obj and then teacher object as teacher teacher obj equals new teacher Okay, let's call set data method to student dot set data and let's say student name is John and his age is 5 and let display the details of student let's run our program and student name is John age is 5 and roll number is 520 or something so that's it guys Some of you might think that why we cannot create an object of abstract class and the answer is because of abstract methods. Abstract methods are unimplemented that is without definition and if we were allowed to create an object of abstract class then what if someone calls the abstract method. In this situation we are calling a method without body so therefore we can create abstract class object. Guys visit code archery and try to solve the exercises I created for you. Like code archery Facebook page and join our group. You can also support me on Patreon. And if you like my work then please hit that like button and share my videos. Thank you so much for subscribing.